Hey guys, this is Kelly from House of Virgo here. Going to do your love reading for all Virgos, Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, please do click like, share, and subscribe. Okay, Virgo. Also, personal reading links are in the description box below this video. All right, Virgo, let's see what your messages are. Okay, past position. The Empress present is the Hermit. The challenge is the Ten of Swords. Driving the reading, King of Swords. Crowning is the Two of Wands. The Nine of Cups in the near future. Two of Cups in present your advice. Queen of Cups. Position of your person. The Moon, hopes and fears. And the outcome is Three of Swords and Page of Pentacles. All right, Virgo. Okay. So we'll get some love messages from the Romance Angels. Let's see what the overall love messages are here for you, Virgo. Okay, deception. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. Passion, allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. And children, your love life is being affected by children and they just said to pull one more. Okay, trust, this situation is calling for you to have faith. Hmm. That's interesting. Okay, Virgo. Let's take a look here and see what's going on. Okay, past position is the Empress. So we do have Libra, Virgo, Gemini, Aquarius, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Okay, let's take a look. The Empress in the past, this was um, a sense of, at one point, Virgo, maybe some of you were pregnant or you had a child or children in the past, for the, for the women who were um, with children, there might have been an energy of, you know, being in your element. Some of you really wanted to be mothers. Some of the males, um, there was a mother figure who was very prominent, okay? But the empress in the past position, very nurturing energy, very loving. She's a caretaker, takes care of animals. She something to do with plants I'm hearing maybe somebody um, there was someone who was what's the word is it horticulture <laughs> something to do with plants um, like a green thumb you know it was for it, it was all about birth okay it was all about nurturing taking care of yourself taking care of others being in a position like that Venus energy, love everywhere. Um, you know, the Empress, the queen of queens. She's the queen of all queens. Okay. And some of you Virgos did have that element, but you also had... <laughs> some of you came across as very charming and reserved, but you had a mouth on you. <laughs> some of you have a feist, had a feisty side in the past, like you... You were willing to fight. You were, I feel like, you may have had a teenager in the past that was very difficult to deal with, but you managed to raise this child or take care of this child. I know not all of you are parents, okay, um, or, you know, have children, might have also been a grandmother that was raising a teenager as well as what I'm picking up here. But it feels mostly like, in general, male or female, um, it feels like you... I just heard someone from... There was another woman who was very controlling or nasty, um, or there was someone who was gossipy also 
I feel like a very gossipy energy or they somebody was talking about you a lot in the past or saying things about you or trying to be controlling or telling tall tales and fibs about you I feel like this is going to be your reading Virgo more so than the other person it's okay because we do have a spot for the other person here but it feels to me like there was some trouble in the past I feel like you were in a position where you were doing the best you could you were living the best life you knew how to live at the time um, you had a lot of people there was gossip there was control there was a lot of stalking there were things going on that were attached to you it feels like some very negative immature energy that was attached to you in the past okay the hangman here's Pisces again we have Pisces here three times you were fighting people it feels like in the past either people or a particular person I don't know that you were trying to get people to see things your way, but you were fighting for respect, fighting for to be treated well, to be treated like the empress, you know, or the energy. I don't I try not to get into the female if you're male, but fighting f to be treated with respect. It was a real struggle for people to see you in a particular light. I feel like you knew that there may have been a reputation because of gossip and things that somebody had said about you or things that were said about you in the past or even for your own self to view yourself in a different light in the past kind of like trying to evolve very much trying to evolve and have a new perspective and really fight for yourself okay but the present energy here is the hermit there's like a seeking clarity here and what's going on is a challenge whether or not to surrender to something whether or not like should i feel like you're in this place right now <sighs> questioning were you betrayed or were you betraying yourself questioning asking yourself should you like just quit it just don't be done just be done with something it's hard for you to let go it's hard for you to give up it's hard for you to surrender to some type of defeat you may not be willing to accept defeat but i feel like you're in a place right now where you may need to Decept, uh, accept some kind of defeat or some type something where somebody was deceptive or not people person place or thing where people were just not being truthful you you have been fighting some really hard battle in your past for quite some time let's take a look at this hermit sorry if i'm sighing i just i feel this energy of like you're tired you're just kind of tired. It, there's an there's something here about you, Virgo. Though you've got like one fight left in you, but you're not sure if you want to waste it on somebody or other people. Okay, so you have the sun here. Yeah, definitely seeking clarity, and a lot of this has to do with self love. Do you fight to prove? to someone that you are worthy of love or do you just let it go and just go prove it to yourself this is the question this is leo energy here for some of you this could have something to do about wanting to be a parent or be a mother or having this desire and having to fight um, through with fertility doctors or reproductive issues or something going on here maybe a change of life for some of you okay knight of swords energy yeah this is kind of what i feel like should you take charge so you're contemplating right now whether you should give up or be done not fight anymore or if you should just keep fighting you're really in a you're like in a stuck place you're in a crossroads in your head here that's what the two of wands is right now you're at a crossroads you're definitely okay so the king of swords is here so there could be an influence of an air sign in your life but you're also in this position of trying to strategize here as an energy
Two of Wands again. Look at this. You are at a crossroads, Virgo. Do you let go and move on with your life and go after your own happiness and joy? Or do you keep fighting? Do you stay and keep fighting? You don't like to give up, Virgo. Let's see what this Two of Wands is here. Crowning down on you. Okay, Knight of Pentacles. Hmm. Some of you are waiting to see what somebody does. <clears throat> and it's kind of like, as soon as I find out, or as soon as I know this person comes in with whatever this offer is or something solid, then maybe you won't have to give up. But you're kind of like right on the edge. You're like standing on that cliff. You're right on the edge here of just surrendering. You're just like, forget it. I'm done. I'm not fighting anymore. It's just not worth it to me. Yeah, you got a lot going on here. Got a lot going on. However, you're going to get some wishes come true here for you. You're going to get what you want moving forward, definitely in the month of September. I feel like a lot of you, as far as love, like you have a lot of passion for somebody. And uh, some of you have passion for children. And there is a desire to have children or be a grandparent, okay? Um, you know, the older I, I get here on my channel, now I have to start talking about the grandparents. <laughs> when I started, I think I was only like, I don't know, my early 40s. <laughs> now I'm like, oh, okay, we're in grandmother, grandfather season now. Um, so it's hard for you to trust someone because there's been a lot of deception, definitely. Although very passionate for each other, because there's been a lot of bullshit in the past, excuse my French, with this page of swords. This is a lot of arguing, the communication, just kind of nasty. The page of swords, you know, he's very curious, but he also talks a lot and there's gossip involved with that page. <clears throat> and the page of swords is kind of like um, an undisciplined youth. All right, what is this wish coming true for you here? Nine of Cups. What is this wish coming true in September? Oh my goodness, the Queen of Cups is your person because the Queen of Cups is here in the position of them, okay? Wow. I feel like this person, I don't know who this is, Okay, let me, give me just a second here. Somebody was wearing a false mask. This person wore a false mask, but it wasn't in the sense that they were intentionally trying to deceive you. They were more so deceiving themselves. They had to put on a front, pretend to be something that they weren't in order to be accepted, in order to, uh, this person, very deep insecurities, Okay, and some of you may have felt like they were intentionally trying to deceive you, but I don't feel like that is the case. This person's very emotional, very sensitive, very more so than you, Virgo, and you know you're sensitive deep inside. You wear a full coat of armor when it comes to your emotions, but this person, they wear their emotions out on their sleeve, and they have that raw nerve, right? Um, but it feels to me like this person is coming in to add to your ninth cup, which gives you the ten of cups. And that's the happy, joy, support, family, love, everything. This is something that you guys want. This, for some of you, it's support of family. There may have been a family issue in the past or something with a mother where there was a lot of bad behavior. And people were... Uh, your your family members or spouse or uh, partner or children or whomever just really not supporting you. But I feel like somebody's coming in here, Virgo, male or female, to bring that loving support. And it's the person that you're inquiring about this reading. 
look more into the oh king of pentacles see this is you and you and your person together male or female it doesn't matter earth and water okay um this person wants they 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 want to be with you virgo you so your person has more of a yin energy you have more of a yang energy okay not male or female just the energy you're a bit more assertive um compared to them they're a bit softer but i feel like it's so weird. I never saw this before. Look at the colors. This person thinks that you are the peanut butter to their jelly. Look, we have peanut butter and jelly. <laughs> or I guess in England you say jam. Um, yeah, they think that you are the peanut butter to their jelly. <laughs> I might have to make that a caption. <laughs> oh my goodness. And they're very sad. They have a lot of regret and remorse about something that happened in the past they feel abandoned you may have left you may have well you did you have the hermit here so you went into this position of like total withdrawal and isolation from this person not because you were trying to get away so much but for some of you just needed that time out here to just figure out what you want to do keep fighting or surrender somebody has a lot of regret and remorse for how they treated you yeah Look, Three of Swords, they know that they broke your heart, and they're also heartbroken as well. There might have been a third party situation that happened. Now, when I say third party, it doesn't necessarily have to be cheating or anything. It could just be interference from family members, other people, places, or things. But whatever it was, two's company, three's a crowd. And you, here, have the Two of Cups. Two's company. This is all that you wanted. Um, just an opportunity to be on the same page with someone, to connect with someone, to have that. Um, this is romance. This is healing. Okay? Exchanging of the cups. This is kind of like a promise ring energy. You know? Yes, we're on the same page. Yes, you know, blood brothers, blood sisters, whichever. But I do feel like somebody's coming in here. Some, this person's coming forward to bring the love and support and the nurturing. Um, they're offering their cup. Yeah. Five of Wands. Why? Because of all the challenges and the competition. There was competition. Maybe you and your person competed with each other. You and this person. You might have been at odds with one another. And challenges were created in between. Your person is coming to apologize for creating challenges, for creating uncertainty. And this person created this. This person sabotaged the relationship. They created drama and problems. They instigated the problems, and then they put everybody at odds with each other, including you and them. Look at that, the shadow side. That's the devil. Yep, causing a lot of drama and toxicity. And they're coming in to bring healing for that. I don't know what happened to this person. I think mostly you, you know, this person probably because you disappeared or just went quiet, they think um, that you're intentionally giving them the silent treatment or that you are um that you left or you abandon them but that's not what you're doing you're just i see you you're just going in to seek clarity because you have a big decision you need to make and you want to be left alone so you can figure out how you're going to move forward and like what you're going to do because you're at a crossroads if you're going to just surrender and say, forget it, I'm out of here, I don't want to be bothered with this anymore, or you're going to keep trying to fight. It's a fight or flight kind of thing. And that's what is happening to this person. It's indirectly happening to them. Sometimes you just need to give people space. Sometimes you giving your, you know what, you don't need to give anybody anything, Virgo. Give yourself some space. 
give yourself some breathing room to figure out things, to sort things out and what you want to do. You don't owe anyone anything. You don't have to give somebody space. They have to give themselves space. You're not responsible for anybody else. And what other people do because of what you do is they have to own that. Okay, 10 of wands, hopes and fears, okay. So hoping for clarity, of course, hoping for this burden to be like, come to an end, but there is a fear. That moon card is all about fears. There's a fear of like constant deception. There's a fear about having to keep carrying this burden around with you and deal with people um, in this relationship or someone in this relationship with a false sense of self or a, a good actor or not even a good actor because Virgo, you see right through that. Yeah, you want truth. You want clarity. This is all you're after right here. Look at that. Ace of Swords. You want victory. You want communication. You're hoping. Because you just, Virgo, you're no nonsense. You don't, you don't, you don't mess around with, like, I mean, I, I understand that you pay attention to the details, but when you're at your wit's end, you can't be bothered with frivolous things. You just want the truth, the full truth, nothing but the truth, so you can make decisions in your life if you've got other people that you're waiting on, because these are waiting cards, the two of wands. It's at a crossroads, waiting for an answer. You could be waiting to hear from an air sign about something doesn't have to be your person it could be but waiting to hear from you know not not necessarily even an air sign but just someone who's very intellectual and is just you know not like how can I say this the king of swords is very choice with his words even when the king of swords speaks you would think that he had his nose in a dictionary as he was talking because his words they're so effective okay um he's brilliant the king of swords is has a brilliant mind but he's he he lacks emotion you know it's there but that's not where he draws uh from first he draws from, he's very heady, very intellectual. So his communication, you might be waiting to hear like some truth because the King of Swords is very witty, very truthful and like boom, gives you that answer. I feel like in a lot of ways, some of you are waiting. That's what's driving you or the decision is about somebody who has that energy. Okay, these could be two different people as well. So the messages are always a little more convoluted when we have um, more court cards, kings and queens in the same reading. And that's when I would direct you to the link in the description box to get a personal reading from me because I always say just take what fits. The whole reading may not work for you or may not fit. So the outcome here, let's take a look at this. Now this page here, this page of pentacles, that feels like a solid offer and that it feels like a, an apology. I heard um, apology without action to back it up is just manipulation. The page of swords, I'm sorry, the page of pentacles, look, he's got something tangible in his hand here, which means that, you know, there's communication coming in. This is a good faith for breaking your heart, for causing problems, causing drama, having um, anyone else involved in the situation or the relationship, person, place, or a thing. Um, there's a huge apology coming here again, okay? But it's not just words. It's not just emotion. It's, hey, I'm sorry, and here is how I'm going to make it up to you because you deserve that. Someone just coming in and saying, oh, sorry about that. No, no, we are, we don't, no, we don't do apologies without actions behind it. If you break, if you get angry and you break a very expensive vase of mine and then you come back and just say you're sorry, that's not enough. You need to replace the vase. 
because you broke it. <laughs> anyway, I don't know where that came from, but somebody must have had a vase broken or something happened. You must demand that, Virgo, from anyone that comes in with just words. If they've done something, they must make it up to you. And if they don't, then they must go because they're not with integrity and they are just manipulating you. Queen of Swords, that's you. Here you are. Truth. <laughs> you must demand truth. You must demand respect. All right? And I do feel like somebody is going to come in and apologize and try to make it up to you, which is good. Your advice here is with the Two of Cups, don't jump in. Your advice here is to not take just an apology and just say, oh, okay, everything's fine. If you're going to consider trying to rebuild this friendship, rebuild this relationship, whatever it might be, you know, start way back at the beginning with this person. Way back at the beginning. Sibling, parent, family member, you have to start at the beginning and make sure that you are both on the same page. Look, here's the lovers. <laughs> lovers with the two of cups. Okay? got to want the same things you know if it's a relationship for sure and there has to be vulnerability you know you got to start at the two of cups to get to the lovers but Virgo like I said you're kind of like hmm you're not sure you're just not sure. Yeah, you have um, a fear of being abandoned or left out in the cold or your person does or it's very cold out there. You, there's a part of you that's like, oh, if I just leave this person, then I'm going to be out here in the cold all by myself. But you won't because look at all those coins in that tree. So you'll be able to take those coins and, you know, go get a motel room or something. You'll be okay. Virgo, you don't have to worry. You're not going to get left out in the cold. In fact, it's, I feel like staying in this connection here while things are currently not so great is, is more cold than this. You have like a feeling of some sort. You know, if you have to leave family or leave what you thought was your home base or where you felt secure, but it turns out it wasn't, you have to leave that. There, there's a little bit of a fear that you're going to be all by yourself. Um, and I think that's normal, especially if you're choosing to start over some ways in your life. You know? Um, getting rid of or just removing people in your life who are deceptive. Even if people in your life are wearing a false mask because of deep insecurity, you know, you're not the F boy or F girl whisperer. You know, it's not your job to break somebody else's chains. That's their job. And when they break their chains, you can love them to help them keep those chains at bay, but it's not your job to fix anybody and I feel like Virgo that's like a big thing for you because you're a healer and you like to fix people but you need to be smart if for those of you who aren't okay I know a lot of Virgos I'm probably preaching to like nobody here because I know most of the Virgos are just like uh-uh <laughs> some of you have like a brass set of B-A-L-L-S-S. Holla a brass set. You know what I mean? Let's take a look here and see what your love messages are from this person. Okay, I want to tell you how I feel. And that is, I don't know how to let you go. Okay, they don't know how to let you go. They're going to try to hold on to you and try to make it up to you and prove to you why can't I hold these cards and prove to you that, you know, good faith effort, like I was saying, they're going to replace your vase as they should, and they need to replace your heart if they broke it. They do hope that you're happy, and they do look for you everywhere. So, of course, because you're kind of in hermit mode right now, um, they're seeking you. They're seeking you. 
they lost themselves for a little while really confused I never want to feel that way again I took the easy way out I couldn't tell you face to face right they had to like wear this mask they couldn't tell you that they were gossiping or that they were saying mean things or that they were you know pretending to be something that they really weren't they couldn't come out from behind the mask and just be vulnerable and authentic and you know just be in this position of um well take me as i am this is who i am deal with it or not like they couldn't they had to either mask or mirror or morph to get you to like them i feel like i'm talking about mean girls or something that movie <laughs> i hide behind material things yep hide 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 that's the word that's sticking out to me this person hides a lot but there is chemistry and there is a strong mutual attraction between you and your person okay this for some of you this just could be your best friend all right let's get some charms and i promise this time i will look at them all okay all right so we have a book here somebody's reading a book right now or was just finished reading you know the book i was hearing um the kite runner I just heard that book, The Kite Runner. Um, and somebody was looking, skimming through, reading some Psalms or pages of a Bible or writing. Somebody here is actually writing a book. You're writing your story. Writing a story. Or if you have, or you started a novel, or you started writing, you're being asked to like get back into that. If you have time, start that, finish that thing you're writing, whatever you're doing. I also have a gun. <laughs> You know, I was just seeing, um, you know, a racetrack right before the horses go. They have that starter gun. It's like the gun, the starter gun. It's symbolic of like go, go time. But the thing is, you're not sure yet. So the gun just sits there by itself. Okay, you're not sure yet. Um... So I don't know if your person has a gun or you do or someone's polishing a gun or shoots in a gun range. Okay. Shoot also shoots is it is it called skeet or something? But um here we have a bat. Wow. Okay. October 31st is a significant date. October 31st is a significant date for someone. Oh, that's Halloween. There's also a koi fish here. So maybe you have some fish. Um, now I just heard baseball. I don't know why I heard baseball. And look, money. Okay. Somebody stole a gun or money or something. I'm feeling restitution is happening here. Big time. Somebody's coming back and paying you back for something that they took, whether it was mental, spiritual, emotional, or physical. Definitely, there's restitution. Um, somebody, something here. Wait, I just heard. Um, bat. Bat. I don't know somebody's last name is Bat, like B-A-T-T. -T or bat, bat, but battalion, battalion, military. <sighs> they're, they're giving me, I hate when this happens because I'm like, oh my gosh, all, right, all these messages are coming in. Uh, beat, and I just heard beat. Somebody was beat or somebody got beat out of something. I don't, I mean, if you're physically, been physically beat, then, um, and you're thinking about going back? Uh, no. Okay. I want you to click off the reading. No. This is not for you. <laughs> I mean, I'm not encouraging or discouraging. I'm just giving the messages here. But, you know, I know difficult situations, you know. This koi fish, I'm not sure. This is something to do with Japan. Or there's a tattoo or somebody's got looking at a pond of koi fish at this time. Oh, very interesting messages so interesting i feel they're telling me don't go yet wait there's something to do with this bat <laughs> my goodness i 
but they're not they're not they're not they're just they just keep saying i just keep seeing the letters and it keeps coming at me bat 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 they just keep saying bat i don't know what that means tell them bat i don't know what that means but i'm gonna leave your reading there maybe you can comment below and tell me if something comes through for you because i'm not sure did not give them usually i get images like visuals but here i just see the words bat in like big black letters and it's like an on a marquee sign bat 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 okay i'm gonna leave your message there virgo <laughs> i hope you enjoy that please do hit like share and subscribe and click the link in the description box if you want to get a personal reading and i'll see you guys very soon take care